I've been listening to a lot of motivational speakers over the last few years. And the reason why I do this is because I know that a lot of times when your mind is closed and clouded, you can't hear the messages that you need to hear. You know, sometimes the universe will put in front of you certain, you know, certain doors for you to walk through. And if you don't, then you don't. You know, you still get an opportunity to do it, but you got to be willing to walk through the door. In my blog this morning, I was writing about Earl Nightingale's greatest secret or something like that. But I listened to this about a year and a half ago. And it was given to me by my children's father, you know, because he's always looking for different ways to stay motivated and inspired and stuff because he's an artist. And, you know, especially in the trying times that we're in, it's important for all of us to stay uplifted. Well, he sends me this, this, you know, YouTube video. He says, listen to this. Listen to it all the time. I'm like, okay. I listened to it once. And I was like, oh, okay. And I took some notes. It sounded pretty good, pretty official, pretty lit. And then I just put it down. That was it. I didn't write anything past that day. I didn't practice any of the principles that he talked about. I just, I listened to it because it was given to me. But I didn't hear it. You know, I, I didn't hear it. And what I mean by that is that when you're not ready to receive a message, you'll listen with your ears, but you don't hear it with your heart. And that's where the procrastination comes into place at. Because I'm a heartfelt person. And I know that if I feel it in my heart, that means I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna achieve it. I'm gonna put you know, I'm going to breathe life into it. And it took for me to come all the way down here to Georgia to find out, to find out that I am actually that person. That the woman that I had been all of those years prior to this move, I don't know who she was. She wasn't a fighter. You know, she, 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 she didn't stick up for anything. She allowed every opportunity that came her way to pass her by. So I don't know who that woman was. That woman and that life did not belong to me. So I made a conscious effort to change. So when I came across, the um, video is called, when I came across it again, and I listened to it for the second time, I heard the meaning. I understood what Earl Nightingale was trying to say. I could, I could hear the message and it just changed my life. Because I removed my ego, I had to tell myself, all right, self, you need to stop because you don't know shit. When I responded in kind, right I don't know shit because I was in my own world thinking that I knew everything that I could do everything on my own all I needed to do was you know apply myself or maybe not even apply. I just I just knew I could do it I knew I could do it so I was a know-it-all so I was a know-it-all who went nowhere so what did I do I had to humble myself to hear the message I had to remove my ego I had to stop protecting my ego. I had to admit to myself that I don't know shit out here in life. Because if I'm to be the teacher, I have got to first be the student. And what greater teacher out here to better serve than life? The the many dishes of disappointment that we have to eat up, the many, you know, hors d'oeuvres of little bits of opportunity that, you know, pass our way, these thoughts that we get when we're ready to, you know, 
put a plan in motion, but then halfway through it, we're like, I don't want to do it now because now it's hard. Now the fun part is over. You know, that was me. And I had to change all of that. I had to make sure that anything that I was getting ready to apply myself to, I was going to apply it wholeheartedly. Being able to have control over those types of decisions has changed my life so much because I... I can control my day. I am not scatterbrained. I am not all over the place. And don't get me wrong, you know, some days are more hectic than others. But the thing about me and my my tools and my techniques, it's flexible. It's pliable. It will conform around you and what you need it to do for you. And I'm living proof of it. Like I live my I'm every single day, every single day, more and more and more of I can comes out of me. The determination to go from being the person I was before to maintaining who I am now. Because that girl, whoever she was in the past, that thought that she couldn't do it, that didn't think that she was worth it, she's gone. She gone. She doesn't, she doesn't reside here anymore. This is a different address. This is an address of hope. Okay? I don't have time for all that bullshit. I don't have time to sit and feel bad about myself and my circumstances and oh my God, why did life treat me so hard? And oh my God, why did circumstances of my life, boo, you know, boo hoo, boo hoo. It's my excuse that people can't see me because of my circumstances. That was my excuse for why I wouldn't get up off my ass because I was feeling like the victim. I was feeling like the victim. I got a lot of nerve. I have a lot of nerve. And I had to understand that. Nobody is a victim of their circumstance unless they choose to be a victim of their circumstance. I chose to be a victim of my circumstance for 25 years because I did not know that there was a different way. I did not realize that I could have more. Nobody told me, yes, you can. You can have that. You just get your ass up and you go do it. If that's what you want, you got it. And I'm not saying that typical, you know, that traditional mom you know parental you know power talk that our parents give us like you know you can do it son or you know you can do it daughter no i'm talking about that pull your shit from deep deep down within out and say you got this not just in this aspect but you got this in life but this is what you have to do you have got to do x y z a b c e d f g h all of these things I didn't have that. I didn't have a structured set of skills that I could apply to my day to day to help me achieve my goals. And it took me this long to find it. For me to be able to say, okay, Carla, you gotta get up at five o'clock in the morning, we gotta get to work. Because my work days now start at 5 a.m. If I get up at 6.30, I'm an hour and a half late for work. My day does not end until I close my eyes at night. And that is usually, my kids can testify to this, I'll have my glasses and my tablet on, knocked out. I will not rest until I get what I want. I will not stop dreaming until I get what I want. I will not stop believing in myself until I get what I want. Period, point blank. Nobody can take it from me. And people can try. Circumstances can try. Life can try. They will never win. Not against my determination and my will to have what I want in my life. I want more. And I'm going to have more. And I don't know what life has ahead for me, but I'm excited because I, I know what's behind me. And I know that's not what I want. So I'm actively choosing to try something different. I am literally treading on uncharted territory right now and I couldn't be more excited about my life and what's to become. And if you're anything like me and you're just tired of always being tired of doing the same dumb shit over and over and over again, 
hoping for a new result, hoping that if you put maybe just a little bit more effort but nothing works, if you're that person and you're tired, look, I feel you. You need to call me. We need to put a strategy together to get you out of that rat race, the, that roller coaster of life, and get you onto some level ground. Because let me tell you, over here on this end, it's so much more calm, peaceful, loving, tranquil. I mean, we're going through the COVID, we're going through a pandemic, and I haven't been happier in my life. How was that even possible? And I mean, I'm facing eviction, lights getting cut off every couple of days because we're on some prepay account. You know, we don't have any more car insurance because we don't have the money to pay. For. Like, we're going through it. And, but here I am making this video. And you want to know why? Because I can. Because I can. Because I choose to live my life in the best manner as possible. And understand that life is always gonna be a kick in the head. There's always going to be trials and tribulations. It's always gonna get to the point where sometimes we feel like we're just not gonna make it. How the hell am I gonna do this? But you know what? You're still gonna get through it. Tomorrow you're gonna wake up and it's gonna be a brand new day. And the pain of whatever realization that you get ready to go through or whatever shit you have to deal with, it's not going to be as sharp. It's not going to feel as painful because you made it through the worst part of it. You did that. So stop shortchanging yourself. Stop thinking that you can't do it because you can. You just have to give yourself your own accolades. You got to pat yourself on the back and be like, yo, I just did that. Yes, bitch, you did that. Okay. Okay. And then let's see what else we can do. Because if I can do that on my own, then that means damn. And then you start thinking about all of your accomplishments, not all of your failures. Because then you start thinking about how you were able to get through each and every situation. You know, your story. You got a story. We all have a story. But the problem is, people worry more about the, the ending of the story than the, the past part of the story. Because the past is already written. So you can tell that all day long and it won't matter because you still haven't written your future how awesome is that to know that you have that choice that you can make your future whatever you want just because you may have lived your life a certain way at one point that doesn't mean you have to stay there if you don't want to i i was born into poverty okay i don't even think my mother had a stable place to bring me home and I know I took on her karma because I didn't know that I could have my life because that I had a choice to live my life the way I wanted. And now I am and now I'm doing it and now I want to show you how to do it. So do me a favor, pick up the phone, stop procrastinating, email me, write on your phone, you don't even have to call me, you can send me a text. You know what I'm saying? But stop using excuses because if you want a better life and you know you want a better life, you know you deserve a better life, if you're not happy then it's up to you because nobody's going to do it for you. You got to be willing to walk through that door. And guess what? When you do, I'll be on the other side.